Hi there, welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane. Remember to sign the register down below as per usual uh, and I'll flap the names up on screen same as I'm doing here in the next video. This is our little ritual. And remember, if you want your colour coded name, tell me which house you're in. Uh, this is the, the third video I'm putting out this week. I'm trying to make up for being poorly uh, and get, get back on track with this exercise. So that's happening. Last time we got it so that when the ball leaves the play field, it gets destroyed. And this time, what we need to do is when the ball's destroyed, we need to get it so that it makes a new ball. And we'll get all that set up. So, let's do it. Now that we have the ball being destroyed when it leaves the play field, we need to make it so that we can spawn a new one. And that's actually really, really easy to do. So, this step's going to be a short one. It won't take as long to do it. Um, but we need to do it. It's short, but important. Much like my P... Never mind. Um, right, so... The first thing I'm going to do is sort out the name of Killzone um, because for some reason I just completely ditched my naming convention. So we'll fix that first. I'm just going to go rename and I'm going to call it BP underscore Killzone. Bonus points if you were shouting, no, you're naming it wrong when I did that. Um, and there we go, that's done. Right, what we need to do now is go into BP Ball. Let's open that up. And the thing that's going to trigger the spawning of a new ball is when the last ball gets destroyed. And there's actually an event for that. So if I just right click and type destroyed, you'll see the event destroyed pops up. There it is. Lovely. So basically what we're saying to Unreal Engine is as soon as this particular blueprint, this ball gets destroyed, we can spawn another one of them. So what we're going to do is go to, we need to get the player paddle. I will show you why. So let's just open the player paddle up. And the reason that we're going into the player paddle is because it's the player paddle that has the spawn ball blueprint. So we need to get the player paddle. And then from here, we're going to type spawn um, ball. No, what did I call it? New ball is what I called it. Let's just double check. Yeah, the custom event's called new ball. That makes sense. Right. So what we're saying is that whenever this gets destroyed, run the new ball script in the player paddle blueprint. And guess what that will do? It'll give us a new ball. So let's just comment that up. Um, so new ball when one is destroyed. Yeah. So we need to test it. Let's do that. So compile save and into here so let's play so what i need to do first is launch the ball that's all still working jobs are good in and then we'll let it flap around the level a little bit i need to move my paddle out of the way and oh, hey it works so now we could just play this forever until we destroy all the blocks and then well we could still keep playing it uh, and that's that's all good so yeah a successful step well done everyone what we're going to be doing in the next step is starting to get it so that we can set these blocks up with different colors and have different scores so that then we can get the on-screen score displayed and start turning this into more of a game. So stick around, there's more classes coming and I hope to see you in them. Yay! I believe that quality education should be available to everybody and for that reason all of the classes at Game Dev Academy are completely free and we're supported by our very generous school governors over at Patreon. If you'd like to become a Game Dev Academy Governor and support our work as well as helping us to steer the channel in the right direction, then use the link in the description to be taken to the Patreon page.